Hey YouTube, Sharice here, or Miss Ishman as my kids call me, and I'm back to do a first impression slash initial review on this wash and go. I'm going to do a wash and go series where every time I do a wash and go, I'm going to try out a new product line. And all I have to say is that the line that I tried out today was one that didn't quite work as well in the past, but I picked up some more of the products from the line and used them together. And my results are amazing. I'm loving this wash and go that I have today. I just did this today. This is why this is an initial review slash first impression. So for each wash and go in this series, I will have a demo video where I show you applying the product to my whole head and what it looks like while it's wet. Then I'll have the initial review and first impression part, which will be when it's dried on the same day so day one hair and then i'll have a final review which will be when i think it's time for me to rewash my hair or restyle it again so you can see how long it lasts and i tell you about how long it lasts and show you pictures from throughout the week so the initial review will be really quick i'm just going to read to you what the products claim to do give you a 360 so we'll do the 360 first i'm sure you're interested to know what product line I use to achieve these results. So my hair is 100% dry. As you can see, it is super shiny. Every coil is defined and nicely clumped together. Not too clumped together, but not frizzy whatsoever. So I'll give you guys a 360 view. Right side rotating to the back. You can see, and this is the left side of my hair. And I'll show you the top. So this is the final, well, this is the final result for day one hair and I'm loving it. I love like how full it is. Like it has some volume to it. It's not super duper flat. I love the shine. I love the definition. It does have a little bit of a crunch to it but it's not bad it's not as crunchy or hard as when i use eco styler gel eco style gel it's not as hard as that it also has a little bit of elongation to it which some of these products when i tell you about the product line claim to help elongate the hair and prevent shrinkage a little bit and i feel like that definitely happened with this wash and go it's not as shrunken as my wash and goes tend to be kind of this section well, let me pull my hair back this section right here is usually how much all of my hair will normally shrink up to. It looks like I have a TWA almost, but this is giving me a little bit of hang time. And I'm kind of pulling on the hair to break the gel cast and to shape it some. And there are like little flakes coming off of my hair, but it's literally, literally me just breaking the gel cast. It's not actually making my hair look flaky. So I am not mad at that. Like I said, I love the definition. I'm loving the results. I think these products work amazing with my hair type and with what my hair needs. Yeah, it feels great. Like it's very lightweight. It still has movement to it. You see, my hair is not super stiff. It will blow in the wind. It can move. <laughs> That's always a plus. So what hair products am I talking about? I used three. The first product I used, which I used a little bit of if you watch the demo video, if you want to know how I apply these products, I'm not even going to tell you how I apply them. I'm just going to tell you I use them. So the first product I use is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. Made with pure shea butter, stops and mends hair breakage, leaves hair soft, shiny, and manageable. Formulated for severely damaged dry or coarse hair. <clears throat> this is what this packaging looks like. This is obviously the old packaging. But um, I've always been a fan of this product and I use this container up. I think I have this for like a year. Smells great, works great. It's a very nice moisturizer for your hair. Um, it's supposed to stop and mend hair breakage, repair split ends and reduce frizz, frizz protect hair from heat damage, hydrate and moisturize with shea butter and natural oils. Love this. I might invest in more of this, but I don't think this is the product that contributed totally to these results. The next two products are the ones I like. So this is the first product that I applied to my hair though on freshly co-washed hair. 
I'm going to throw that in the trash now. Now, this is the product I think really made the difference. And this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. No sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. Produces frizz-free, smooth, bouncy curls. Activates curls. Delivers volume and adds shine. Clearly. <laughs> and um, this says apply to damp towel dry hair section by section. Reapply to dry hair as needed for moisture. I love this stuff. I have used this to refresh wash and goes in the past, but I've never actually tried it on a wash and go without any other products or using only products from Cantu. And I feel like this is the major key to the results that I got. And I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is 12 fluid ounces. And I believe this is probably either six. It's between $6.99 and $8.99. Most Cantu products are not over $9. They're not over $9. It's a very affordable and great hair product line. Like I said, it has no bad ingredients in it. And it's made specifically for natural hair. It says that right on the packaging. For natural hair. This is the Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream, and it really does work to activate your curls and start getting them clumping and defining themselves. That was not correct English. So this says, Cantu for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream will define, moisturize, and restore your curls, leaving them smooth, frizz-free, and full of life. Made with 100% shea butter and formulated without harsh ingredients, Cantu for Natural Hair restores your real, authentic beauty. Embrace your curly, kinky, or wavy hair with Cantu for Natural Hair. Love this. Definitely would suggest this. I give this product a 10 out of 10. I don't give that often, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Like, this is going to become, I think, my new staple. And this I've had for a long time as well. And I don't know why I stopped using it, but I'm glad I tried it out on this wash and go today because I'm loving my results. Like, loving it. Love, love, love it. The next product I use is a brand new product, and this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Define and Shine Custard. And this is the gel that I used on top of the two, the leave-in and the Curl Activator Moisturizing Cream. And it looks like this. I just bought this. You can see brand fresh, brand new fresh sticker on there. $7.19 is how much this costs at a beauty supply store near the school I teach at. This is what the product looks like. And this is also 12 ounces. So basically, I'll say $7.50 for 12 ounces. That's a really good price. Almost 50 cents an ounce. A little bit more than 50 cents an ounce. So I'm not mad at that. This is an ultra moisture or orch. Oh, goodness, I cannot speak. Oh, let me start over. Just got done teaching school. It's Friday, March 24th at 4.40 p.m. I just got home. Ultra moisturizing ingredients make the driest curls defined and healthy. Define and shine custard helps reduce hair bulk, elongates curls, and provides enough hold for long-lasting styles that stay. Made with pure shea butter and formulated without harsh ingredients, Cantu restores your real authentic beauty. Embrace your curly, coily, or wavy hair with Cantu. So, yes. Yes. This, like just sealed in what this did and just made it better. So for a wash and go on, what I have is type four coily hair. Like as you can see right here in the front, I have super tiny coils. Sometimes it's a perfect coil. Sometimes they start to get a little zigzaggy. You can just see the kind of hair I have. And I have very dense hair. Um, but very fine hair. These products do not weigh my hair down. Sometimes my hair can get weighed down, which is why I usually like second day hair more than I like first day hair because it doesn't usually have as much volume as this does right now. And if I took a pick to it, I could get even more volume, but I want to keep the definition and see um, how long this lasts because I feel like this has really good hold, but not it's not as crunchy as when I use Eco Styler, which I'm enjoying that it's not as crunchy. So yeah right now i'm giving these two this is also a 10 out of 10. so these two together i highly recommend and to get both of these it's going to be under 15 dollars i'm pretty sure so 
those are my first impressions. Like I said, I do feel like it has elongated. It's definitely shiny. It's definitely moisturized. It's definitely defined. Like everything that it said it's going to do is doing. I don't know about repairing the split ends. Um, I was checking out my ends today at school and I don't feel like they look bad or anything like that. So we'll see over time since I think this is going to be like the number one combination out of my series. I'm not sure I haven't tried all the other things. We'll see over time how this works and we'll experiment to see if this Define and Shine Custard um, works well with other moisturizers and leave-in conditioners. So that's it for this initial review and first impression on these products. Like I said, this is a day one wash and go using those three products. Out of the three I tried, I highly recommend these two. I give a 10 out of 10. The leave-in conditioner I mean, it's good. It's great, but I don't feel like that's what gave me these results. I feel like if I just used these two things, I would have gotten the same results. So the leave-in isn't a necessity in my opinion because you get just as much moisture with the Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream as well as Definition with this. So save your coins and just get these two, I think. So that's it. Let me know if there are other Wash & Go products that you would like for me to review. 99.9% .9 of the time, I wear my hair in a wash and go, which is why I want to start this series. And I've been having issues with my hair being dry, which is another reason I wanted to start these series, this series about wash and goes. So this is test numero uno, which is, I'm going to call it the Cantu for natural hair wash and go. So Cantu product wash and go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this wash and go. Do you think it looks good? What do you think? Do you like my definition? Show you all the roots. Show you all my edges. My edges are very curly and coily too. Like they're so coily. What do y'all think about it? Let me know down below. And again, thank you for watching this video. So I'll have the demo and the initial review up uploaded on the same day. And for my final review, you have to wait until this I feel like I need to redo it so you can see how many days it lasts. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you like having this in like three separate parts. Again, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Love ya. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye YouTube.